Hi, I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and today I'd like to show you how to take a jar or one of these fish bowls, that's what I call them, and turn it into a cute little jack-o'-lantern. And here's what we're going to need for today's project. The first thing I have on this list is a pattern and you can just Google free pumpkin carving patterns. And I pulled something like this offline yesterday. We're going to need either one of these fishbowl jars. That's what I call it because I always see these in pet stores with those poor beautiful fish in them. I think they're fighting fish. Or this vase which a lot of us just happen to have these around because when you get flowers, that's what they come in. Or even just a plain old pickle jar, any jar that you've cleaned out. Now if you're going to use the jar, you're going to need one more thing. You're going to need a metal spray paint to cover the lid. And you're going to need some decoupage glue, a few sponge brushes, a fine artist's brush, You'll need orange tissue paper and you'll need red tissue paper. And this is the tissue paper that goes in gift bags. Then you need some liquid leading. That's this and that's available in the craft store. Top coat, I'm using the triple thick. And this glitter is optional. The liquid leading, they tell you dries within eight hours. So, and you might want to practice on a piece of paper with the liquid leading because it's obviously much thicker than a pencil or a pen and you want to feel comfortable moving it around. The tissue paper, you definitely want to tear your tissue paper in advance. And I would actually do two sheets of the orange. What I'm doing is two sheets of the orange, two full sheets, and then I'm going to only do one sheet of the red. I also keep a nail file, as heavy grit as you can find, on hand at all times when I'm doing decoupage. And I keep a pair of scissors around. If you're using a jar, you'll want to spray this with a light colored metal base coat. The next thing we want to do is start to decoupage our papers on the jar. Now here's what we'll do. For these larger pieces you're going to use the larger brush and you make sure you overlap and you're only going to go up to this area if you're working on a jar with a lid on it. You don't want to get any you can wipe it off, but you ideally you don't want to get glue in here where you're going to need to put the lid back on. So I overlapped the bottom, did this up here on the top, and I'm going to start with the red. And all you do is just lay the paper down. I've already torn a bunch of it, as you can see. You lay the paper down. And put the decoupage glue. Over top of it. And I just keep wiping away here if I get any glue in here. And to start with, you're going to do this around the whole jar. Now, I am going to start on the front. And I will show you why. It's because I want to show you how to do this. You don't want anything inside of your pattern. This is going to be clear so that you can see what's on the inside, whether it's a votive, whether it's candy corn. Go into a small area like that
take some of the paper. Now we're going to need the artist's brush here. And go into that little area. And place the glue, decoupage glue. Come down into the next area. Now you see how I'm overlapping right here? I'm going over the liquid lead. But you can lift it up with your fingernail. And with this smaller brush, you can paint it right down. And I'm going to tear away a little bit of this. and then carefully paint it back into place. I say paint. I'm using the brush just like I'm painting. I'm going to finish this up right now. Now that that first layer of the red tissue paper is down, and there's some spots that I left bare because you don't have to cover the whole thing because now we're going to cover the whole thing with the orange, and the orange is more important because the pumpkin's orange, obviously, not red. So we'll just do the same exact process we did with all of the red paper, but now with the orange over top of it. And I'll start doing some of that. We want to cover up all of the red. Same thing on the front. And again, you can always use your brush. So if you put a little decoupage glue in there, then you take a section of paper and you put it where you want it to go. You can peel back that little bit that's overlapping. See what I just did? I peeled back the little piece of paper and pressed it down. This piece is too large, but I wanted to give you an idea of how you can kind of paint with paper. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll come right back. I'm going to put this into a cold oven, set the oven to 175. And when the alarm goes off to let me know it's reached 175, I'll turn the oven off and leave this in there to dry probably for at least a half an hour. But I also wanted to show you what to do with the lid. You're going to follow those same steps. The lid, if you have one, I told you that it was okay to overlap the papers because you're just going to take your file and go in one direction, go around the whole lid. So this is the last step and if you want to add glitter you'll almost be doing this at the same time and this is applying the top coat. I'm going to turn off the lights. You can see that is how those fish bowls look. Sorry, with a candle in them. Now the one on the right is the jack-o-lantern that's got the openings and you can see it looks just like a pumpkin in the dark. The now that's a real candle in there. You may want to put one of those electric votives or the battery operated LED lights in there. So there are our completed fish bowls, all for Halloween. 
The one in the center can be used, it could be used year-round depending on your decor. This is a, an LED candle which is not very strong so you can't really see it. I'll put a real candle in there without the lid on it so we can see how that looks. But in the meantime, thank you so much for subscribing. I love hearing from you guys. Love your comments and questions. Um, I love to help out. So if you've got anything to say, let me know. Uh, ask me whatever you'd like. And my book is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and a site called Scobie Books out of England, in case you're watching from uh, anywhere outside of the United States. At wherever you live, they will ship the book from the closest point, the United States or England. So, thank you very much. I'll just show you the one more shot of the jar with a real candle in it because we'll see if that makes a difference. And thanks again, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.